How to get a guardianship of a child without going to court Obtaining guardianship of a child in Texas, often called conservatorship, is typically a complicated process that requires court intervention. However, there are ways to secure guardianship without the need for going to court. This option can save time, reduce stress, and allow a quicker resolution to ensure the child's safety and well-being. For parents in Houston seeking alternatives to court proceedings, understanding these options is vital to making informed decisions for their family. Legalities of guardianship without court intervention in Texas Parents who are unable to care for their children can delegate temporary guardianship responsibilities to another trusted adult without court approval. This can be done through an authorization agreement for non-parent relative or voluntary caregiver. This legally binding document allows a non-parent caregiver to perform many of the tasks typically assigned to a guardian, such as enrolling the child in school, consenting to medical care, and handling other necessary daily responsibilities. However, it's important to note that while the document grants significant authority to the non-parent, it does not transfer full legal custody of the child. The parents retain their legal rights and can revoke the agreement at any time. For parents who need temporary assistance but wish to avoid court, this method offers a legally recognized alternative for ensuring their child's needs are met. Consulting with an attorney is essential to properly draft and notarize this agreement to ensure it is legally valid. Steps to obtaining guardianship without going to court to legally transfer guardianship duties without involving the court, follow these steps. Draft an authorization agreement. Start by drafting the authorization agreement for non-parent relative or voluntary caregiver. This document should clearly outline the scope of the guardian's responsibilities, including the duration of the arrangement. Obtain parental consent. At least one parent must sign the agreement, voluntarily consenting to the guardianship. It's recommended to have both parents sign if possible, even if one is not the primary caregiver. Notarize the agreement. Notarization adds legal credibility and ensures that the agreement will hold up under scrutiny if necessary. It's a crucial step in validating the arrangement. Inform the child's school and healthcare providers. Provide copies of the notarized agreement to the child's school and healthcare providers. This ensures that the temporary guardian can make decisions regarding the child's education and medical care without delays or legal obstacles. File relevant documents. Though court involvement isn't required, it's essential to keep all related documents on file with institutions like schools and healthcare providers. This step guarantees that the guardian can make decisions smoothly during the duration of the agreement. What is the authorization agreement? The authorization agreement for non-parent relative or voluntary caregiver is governed by Texas Family Code Chapter 34. It is a legal document that allows a parent to grant another adult the authority to care for and make decisions on behalf of their child. This authorization covers several critical areas, medical treatment consent enrollment in school or daycare permission for extracurricular activities access to the child's personal identification documents managing applications for public benefits or insurance coverage The authorization agreement is typically intended for temporary situations, such as when a parent is facing a personal crisis, extended travel, or health concerns that prevent them from caring for the child. The agreement can be revoked at any time by the parent through a formal written revocation notice, which ensures that the parent retains control over the arrangement. It's important to understand that this document does not terminate parental rights. Instead, it provides a practical solution for parents who need to delegate guardianship duties temporarily, without losing their legal authority over the child. A lawyer can assist in drafting this document to meet your specific needs, ensuring all legal bases are covered. Duration and termination of the agreement The length of the authorization agreement depends on the specific terms outlined in the document, as well as state laws governing such arrangements. In Texas, these agreements are generally limited to a few months. However, parents and guardians can agree on a time frame that works best for them, within the limits set by state law. Once the agreed time frame expires, the agreement terminates, and full parental rights and responsibilities return to the parents. In some cases, the agreement can be extended if both parties consent and state law permits it. This extension ensures the child's continued care during situations that may require more time, 
but further legal steps may be necessary if a more permanent guardianship arrangement, such as legal adoption, is needed. When circumstances change, such as a parent regaining their ability to care for the child, the agreement can be terminated before the designated time ends. Notifying the necessary parties, including the child's school and healthcare providers, about the termination is crucial for ensuring a smooth transition back to parental care. For Houston families exploring ways to obtain guardianship of a child without going to court, the authorization agreement offers a flexible and legally sound option. By following these steps and working closely with a lawyer to draft and notarize the agreement, parents can ensure their child's safety and well-being without the stress and cost of court proceedings. For more information and personalized legal guidance, contact the law office of Whitney L. Thompson at 281-214-0173. Our firm is located at 4201 FM 1960 Road West, Suite 360, Houston, Texas, 77068, and we are here to help you navigate the complexities of guardianship arrangements with confidence.